Their motto is meant to be excellent. Get your cameras ready. But an internal inquiry last month exposed widespread predatory behaviour on the Red Arrows. The Royal Air Force had hoped the investigation would draw a line under the scandal. But victims have broken cover in an exclusive Sky News documentary to slam the inquiry as a travesty of justice and to share allegations of harassment and bullying. Requesting anonymity, the women's words are voiced by actors. It just feels like they're marking their own homework. They want us quiet and they think it will go away. And it's not going to happen because none of us are happy with how it's been dealt with. The utter derogatory tone, the dismissive nature and the derisory writing. It just shows how this whole system is flawed from the start until now. Kate and Lucy, who've since left the RAF along with Rachel, were among those to give evidence to the non-statutory inquiry. But they were then left in limbo for almost two years until the findings were released. It's very much a secondary wound. You can't move on, you can't gain closure. I almost think it's worse than the actual behaviour that we experienced. And how does it make you feel? Angry, uh, disrespected. The inquiry confirmed widespread unacceptable behaviours between 2017 and 2021, including sexual harassment, the exposure of genitals and predatory activity. A second investigation was also released into allegations of failings by the chain of command. Two pilots were sacked and nine other individuals sanctioned. But the RAF doesn't appear to have told the victims who was punished and for what. I think it's appalling. We haven't had any justice. In any normal corporation, you find out the outcome of an investigation like this and what happened to the perpetrator. It's very odd that they will not tell us. Philip Ingram is a former army officer who co-founded a small group called the Independent Defence Authority that's been supporting the women. He too is scathing about the inquiry. It's not victim-centric. The victims aren't at the heart of it. What do you mean by that, not being victim-centric? Everything in there reinforces the stories that the victims have given. So you know they've been hurt. You know they're victims. So make sure that everything that you do is looking after them first and foremost and bringing the detail out second. Um, I haven't even touched on the victims in here. An RAF spokesperson said two comprehensive and thorough investigations have been completed relating to unacceptable behaviours within the Red Arrows. This was followed by an unreserved apology from the Chief of the Air Staff and the introduction of many changes within the unit based on the recommendations of the reports. The RAF recognised it's taken some time to publish the findings, but it was important to get this right. The victims say they have little faith in air chiefs to bring about promised change, but they hope by speaking out, they might inspire others in the military to do the same. Things can't be covered up with bravado and banter. I hope this, these actions that we're doing, signal the start of a new era. We need to keep this momentum going and it's not going to happen overnight, but I hope it will change for the better. If we want to serve in the armed forces for our country, we should be able to do that without having to face these disgusting behaviours. Deborah Haynes, Sky News.